This is my 24th day of using the Google Pixel 7 and I'm going to walk you through a day in the life. So the night before I did not charge my phone so it was completely dead when I woke up. In the morning I charged it up to 15 or 30% while I was brushing my teeth and getting ready. Then I went for a walk came back to work, went outside to rake the leaves, eventually at night went to grab dinner, and then went some shopping and back home. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the details. Started my day at 6.36. 6.45, Monday morning, finally left the house. It's always a little bit tough to wake up on Monday morning, but every day above ground is a great day. Went to bed last night with phone at like 22%. Didn't think I was gonna make it to the night, but I decided to try it anyways. Had YouTube music blinking and my phone not plugged in. That's okay. I was so glad I was able to achieve all day battery. Can used to wake up later in the day and it will last you all day. Phone was at 0% this morning. Charge it up to 30% in like 15 20 minutes while I was getting ready. I'll right, charge it more when I get back to my desk. Good thing to decide to walk back. Now the rain is starting to pick up, even though it wasn't even a forecast. Okay, 9 a.m. We are giving the Pixel 7 a proper full charge to begin the day. 9.30, have my first meeting, so I got my recording app up and ready. Can't tell you how many times this recorder transcription app have saved me for work. It is a game-changing feature for me, just to have it on during all my meetings. I don't always take great notes or feel like typing out everything. Though, I do not appreciate Google transcription calling me Tubby right here. Here's a picture of my worst roommate ever, leaving me one sheet of toilet paper again. It's been about two hours since my phone was charged to 100%. Started work, used my recording app. Now we are at 80%. Decided to go for a, another walk before realizing that I need to go back to my house to clean up all the leaves under my tree. Here's me picking up some leaves, favorite chore in the world. The leaves cleaning process took like an hour to complete. Once I was done with that, send a snapchat to my friend. Then we had to bring all these leaves to the recycle yard. Here's me driving there. Another snapchat I sent to my friend while waiting in line to dump the leaves. Current time is one o'clock at about 56% battery life. Dumping these leaves, waiting in line. Then back to work. Went home for lunch, had some fried rice, did some light gaming while I was eating lunch. Then I was back to work, sent another snapchat to my friends when I noticed there's a couple trucks running around picking up leaves in the streets. The direct my call feature is super useful. I can just read through all the menu and make the selections from there. Once again, biggest selling point of the Pixel 7 is the software and the great price point for a flagship phone. Six hours since full charge, still working, 37% off. Five o'clock, finally off work, currently at 28%. Went to go grab sushi for dinner as a takeaway. Here's my drive there. Afterwards, made my way to Costco was debating on these peppermint barks, but decided not to buy it because I'm going on vacation soon. Don't want it sitting there stale because I likely won't finish it. Thank you as always for commenting below. I appreciate you guys letting me know about the update. So on November 7th, Google did push out a software update that is supposed to fix the display, make it more optimized, and they're supposed to reduce power consumption or battery draining on some of the apps as well. May or may not help some people with the heating issues even though I wasn't really experienced that. So for this update, I didn't get any, any notification or anything like that so you have to go into the settings, look for software and check it yourself. I think by now it should be available. 
I know like the first day or so it may take some time to push out. I've been on the update for a few days, but it hasn't been too much of a difference for me. I know the other thing they fixed was the green flickering screen issue. I think that was mostly predominant on the Pixel 6. Maybe some people ex experience it on the 7 as well, but either way, both of that should be resolved. Let me know how you guys' experience have been since the new update. But I do appreciate Google being on top of the security updates and keeping their commitment. I think the phone has been out for like a month or so and they're already releasing the updates. So in addition to updating the security, they are updating little random things, quality of life improvement, errors, bugs, and all that. So it's nice that Google is spending the time and effort to do that like they said they would. I noticed for a night video, if I'm standing in one spot and recording with the main camera, the quality actually isn't too bad. I know in prior videos I complain about night videos, but I think in a lot of those videos I might have been using the wide angle camera. So in those cases, it looks really bad. But if you use the main camera, I think it might be okay. Especially if you're standing still, but if you're walking and recording like I am here, you do see that the image does blink and flicker here and there. So there's a little bit of hope for the night video camera on the main lens. And when I got home, took a night photo and also have some astro photography in there of my favorite tree. See some stars and moon in the back. Not bad. Admiring this tree that is causing me so much work in the morning. We are at 12 hours since I charged the phone to 100%. Got 6% left. Just dropped one as I speak. Already showered. Finished editing my videos, doing everything I need to do for the evening. I guess it's another successful full day battery life. So at around 9.30, my phone is at 2%. I will say time of death is 9.40. So, over 12 hours of battery life on a weekday, which is pretty solid. As you can see, I did a lot of errands running back and forth today. When I drive, I have Bluetooth audio, I use Google Maps. It's also sitting in a wireless charger, but the speed is very slow. I usually get like 1 or 2% bump, or for the most part, it just stays where it is. Currently, my phone status, I have 90Hz refresh rate off. I have been trying to use dark mode on my Google Maps. So just trying to implement all these random battery saving tips wherever I can. But despite it being a pretty eventful Monday, it still lasted me to bedtime, which is good. As I'm getting ready for bed, I can just charge it up, go shower, leave it overnight, and begin my next day. So there you have it, day 24 with the Google Pixel 7. If you haven't already, please check out day 23, even though it was a Sunday, it was a very light usage day for me and had pretty long, similar battery life as well. So make sure to check that out on a day where I'm not running around, see how the phone works for me. Just another friendly reminder, I'm going to be in Italy for the next two weeks or so, trying to figure out how often I'm going to update my video or how long, but it may be a shorter version, not as detailed, but I'll try to do something anyways while I'm on vacation. All right, guys, thanks for making it this far in this video. Please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.